if done now. To check if scroll up allow is allowed, we all we have to do is check if the current list item uh, current list position I mean for the player is uh, larger that's less than, that's larger if it's larger than 1 because 1 is the start of our list then scroll up is allowed so then we can return true else we should return false and now that we have that we can go into, we can make the scroll down while we're at it just for the heck of it scroll down is slightly more complex um, to check scroll down you're gonna have to do some math here you're gonna have to take um, let me take integer so you need to take the current position current position for the player plus the max amount of buttons obviously we have to subtract one as well so we're gonna have to do another one max buttons minus one minus one if that is less Then selection dialog settings, blah blah blah. Um, where is it? Current items, yes. If that's less than the current items in our list, then scrolling down is allowed. If it's equal to or larger than the current items in our list, then we should not be allowed to scroll further down because then we're at the end of the list. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create the code to update the scroll buttons. So I'm just going to minimize that part and add a new comment. Update list items. Then update scroll buttons. Fairly simple. All we need to do is check our function is scroll up allowed and now you can see why functions are so useful instead of writing those things in there I have it in one place and I'm going to use this check is scroll up allowed multiple times so I don't have to rewrite the code for it uh, if that equals to true I'm just going to go in here copy this disable button thing if it's equal to true, if it's allowed to scroll up, then we're going to enable the scroll button. As far as I remember, the first one was the scroll up and zero was the button. If not, we're going to disable it. And then we're just going to copy this one and we're going to do the same with scroll down allowed. Be careful that the uh, index is reset if you copy paste code sometimes. Or if you know if you change this first function, the index will reset here sometimes. And this should be two. That should be scroll down. All right. Let's just test it. Uh, the top button should now be disabled, and the scroll down button should be enabled. As you can see, it's disabled at the top. This one still works, so it's working. So let's go back in here and we're going to have to add some button callback for it for that I'm going to add first I'd add a comment uh, list buttons or item selection whatever scroll buttons and select button I'm going to put them all into a li nice little switch switches are lovely uh, you just put the item you want to compare it's like an if statement basically 
you put the item you want to uh no use dialog item you put the item you want to compare in here into the top of the switch and then you can put your compare cases here so if the use dialog item is equal to our scroll one one oh yeah i made both of them one index which means i probably made a mistake in my or did i i'm confusing myself with my indexes one one and in the initialization <laughs> here i still use zero one which is one two let's just make this like it says in the comment out there so here it's one one you could of course use a variable or a preset or something to denote what is what here all right so one one should be the scroll up button if that is the button hit then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if scroll up is allowed so basically same thing as last time is scroll up allowed for our player if that equals to true then we're going to set variable the current list position for the player uh, why am I using set? I should use uh, not modify creep uh, modify variable that's easier to use that's the wrong one, list position for the player uh, this is scroll up so it will be minus and we have a scroll speed variable it's going to set this minus the scroll speed I'm just going to copy this thing up and scroll down aloud for the player here I copied it so the index disappeared scrolling down means plus and now my scroll button should actually work let's try them of course once again what did I forget same thing as last time I forgot to call the update after I was done with the updating so I'm just gonna call the update here so if you don't call the update it won't display on the UI obviously and it's still not working so I did something wrong uh, now the question is what did I do wrong where did everything go wrong ah that's what I did wrong if you see it I copied the wrong part here and um, we're gonna have to set this to be the scroll down button there we go okay maybe it's gonna work now then third time's the charm uh, yes there we go you see it stopped at stalker I added only nine units three for each race I can go back up again and down and up woohoo I can select an item and you will see the item will be scrolling with the list and will still be selected due to the way we are updating the list so that's pretty neat and you can easily do stuff like going in here and for instance setting uh, scroll speed up to 3 well let's just set it to 4 so we have a number that will make us get some empty position on our list and you'll see when I scroll it will go oops it will go four down of course I didn't get any empty positions at the end of my list because I calculated wrong
Oh, let's just set this to two. That should work. <laughs> but you'll see that it scrolls two at a time now, instead of one. So you can uh, you can play with this as you want. Ten. This will also work. Uh, any uh, this item that's not filled will uh, just appear as a blank. And of course, selection still works. So yeah, that works like a charm. Uh, the final thing we need to fix now is the select button. Once again, we just go in here. We copy up this uh, thing inside the switch. Then we change the 